King Boomer here with a new intro. And if you don't want to watch it, skip past it. Just like this. Well, I caved. I certainly did. Uh, some of you may remember I did a Would I Lie To reaction a, a couple months back. And um, I was so certain that uh, whoever was presenting it, I can't remember. It was about a cat. And I remember thinking, there's no way this is true. And if it's if it's true, I'm never doing a Would I Lie To You reaction again. Well, I caved. You know why? Because I love Would I Lie To You. It's of the uh, UK game shows that I've done reactions to, Would I Lie To You has always been my favorite. It's just fun for me trying to figure out if they're lying or not. Um, I know most people watch it for the, uh, for the comedy, and rightfully so. But I, for me, it's like 50-50. I like watching it for the comedy and to figure out if they're lying or not. And some people, I guess, really um, really trick me because that last one, yeah, I, I thought he was lying the whole time. I was like, there's no way this is true, and it was. So I said I will never do a what I like reaction again. But here we are uh, because I, these are fun to do. I really enjoy them. But um, this one, this is David Mitchell. And it says school disco days. So let's see if he's lying. Hopefully he's got a rant in there somewhere. Uh, but it's a short clip. So uh, we'll see if he goes on one of his famous uh, Michellian rants. But uh, here we go. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And let's check it out. David. <clears throat> Aged 10, my mum and dad let me go to a school disco but put an alarm clock in my briefcase <laughs> set to ring when it was time for me to start saying my goodbyes. <laughs> Please. Wow, okay, that's the tough one because initially I would be like, there's no way that happened, but from what I know with my limited knowledge of David Mitchell's personality, I feel like he might have parents that would do it. So I'm like 50-50. So let's see what, uh, how he answers the uh, interrogation here. <clears throat> well, I believe it, but I don't think he was 10. I think he was about 36. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, OK, what year was this? Uh, 1984. Please tell me you're not dancing with the briefcase in your hand. <laughs> no, no, I put, I put the briefcase in the corner on top of my folded coat. So how are you hearing the alarm? if it's in the corner uh, well it was it was quite it was one of those um big uh you know old-fashioned metal mm. alarm clocks yeah. so it would have been you know quite noisy so just to clarify yeah. there is a mysterious package in the corner it's ticking <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's fine no one's panicking no, no. <laughs> that's true there would be people would be like is this a fucking bomb <laughs> that's so true Oh, yeah. Is that what happened? No, it, I actually left before it oh. ran. Oh, why? Because I wasn't enjoying myself very much. I believe that. Why didn't your parents just let you have a watch and you just keep an eye on it? Uh, they, I think they thought I might you know, get carried away by the joyousness of the occasion and lose track of time. What, have they never met you? <laughs> and how did you get home? Kebab and taxi. I, I was... I, <laughs> I, I was picked up by my parents, well, did... actually by my mother. Oh, it's a horrible image, is that David's on outside of his briefcase. It's raining, he's left early. <laughs> Mum opens the back yeah. door, he sits there, they drive home quietly, and then in the quiet, the alarm goes uh, off. In... In... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good image, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so... David and the alarm clock. It, what do we think, Lee's team? I... Th you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say that this is true. This is true. That, that more of me wants to believe this than not believe it. But I, I'm not very... I'm not too confident about it, though. But I'm going to say it's true. I more... Again, I'm like 60-40 now, 60 that it's true, 40 that it's not. So I'm going to go with true. Let's see. It certainly sounds plausible, doesn't it? Do you think it's believable? I think yes. It is. Oh, I that's mean... the girl that was uh, Neil's girlfriend in the in-betweeners, wasn't it? 
Go back a little bit. David and the alarm clock. It, what do we think, Lee's team? It certainly sounds plausible, doesn't it? Yeah, she looks like uh, Neo's girlfriend from the first Inbetweeners movie. Could be wrong though. It, they look similar. I don't know. Was this was this particular "Would I Lie to You" uh, snippet here uh, filmed recently? I don't know because she does look older, but it, I swear it's her. Let me know if I'm wrong. Do you think it's believable? I think yes, it is. I mean, the, yeah. Hundred percent. I actually, I'll go with my team. I think it's a lie, but if you think it's true, I'll go with you guys and blame you. You I? know I David better true, than they do. Yeah, I do you know do. David better. I've had David round my house for dinner, and it always ends the same way. Where just as he's going out with the dessert, you hear a bell, and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Lee Mac is great on this show. Mabby, I'm ready. <laughs> OK, uh, David, they think it's uh, true. Is it true or was it a yeah. lie? It was, in fact, a lie. Ah, oh. oh, damn it. God, I am... Uh, I think that's three in a row now, if I can remember back to the last two I've done. I know the last one I did, I was wrong. Because that was the one where I was like, I'll never watch this again. But, uh, man, I'm on a losing streak when it comes to would I lie to you uh, guesses here. But uh, I don't know. Look, because of David Mitchell's personality and how quirky he is, I feel like that would be something that maybe one of his parents did, did to him. They put an alarm clock in his briefcase. But if you're going to have a dance, why would you bring a briefcase to begin with? Maybe I should have thought of that one. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Let me know if that was Neil's girlfriend from the Inbetweeners movie. Or the girl he hooked up with on the trip to Greece. Yeah, I, I guess. And, uh, yeah, let me know about that. But, uh, and Lee Mack is, was really good in this short clip here. So, good stuff, good stuff. Maybe I'll get, get back around to doing what I lie to you reactions in the near future, because I do miss them. I, I, was, I was like, man, I'm going to catch some hell for doing this again after I said I wouldn't. But, uh, you know, it's all fun. But anyway, hope you have a good day. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time, Boomerites. Peace out.